Hey guys, uh, I finally got this machine into uh, a working condition. Uh, there's still a bit of stuff that I gotta do on it, like I've got a front door that I've made up. I gotta put the the lock in it and all that. But uh, I'm gonna be playing the Namco system two five six. Uh, I'll turn it on while I talk. Um, and I actually hacked and slashed and made a kick harness out of a old monitor adjustment um, JST I think it's the JST yeah it's an 18 pin connector um, and I cut it down to a 10 pin and it fit and it works wonders I now have my kick buttons for Tekken 4 um, I also now have the additional jump fly button or guard and fly button for Dragon Ball so that is absolutely incredible so I don't have to play Paul anymore on Tekken 4 I can actually play other characters that can kick so <laughs> that's great um, anyway uh, oh um, I I just missed out on Soul Calibur 3. There was a bid the other day, but unfortunately, I was broke. Um, it was Soul Calibur 3 with the Namco system. Um, it actually went pretty cheap, but I couldn't afford it. Anyway, I'll let this intro play and um, show off this cab. Okay, well, I'm going to put in a credit. I'm only going to play uh, one credit because I tried recording this before and oh my god, it went for almost half an hour. Um, but yeah, I can actually play this with fly buttons, so I'm not too good. Go my man Goku. Um, but now that I can play with full buttons, uh, with fighting Clilin, <laughs> you gotta love the Japanese names. Um, but yeah, now, now that I can actually play with um, all my buttons, this is the well, first, I wouldn't say the first time, but um, I haven't been playing with all my buttons for, for long. Um, but yeah, I, I nearly ended up with Soul Calibur 3 if I wasn't broke, but I mean, if any of you guys actually own the game and are willing to part with it, hit me up because I'm after the uh, the disc and the dongle. Uh, that and Tekken 5.1 I am also looking for, but um I like to get my hands on a oh, what's the other system? Uh, Tyto Type X2 um, which is what this machine had in it originally. I picked up two of these for 270 bucks Australian. Um, I sold the other one because I only had the space for one. I'm, I'm up to what, four machines now. I've got a um, Australian LAI stand-up cab. Um, I've got this one, I've got the Sega New Astro City, um, which you guys have seen. And um, when I sold the other one, oh, I'll turn this down a little bit. Um, when I sold the other cab of this, which is a arcade top star, I think it's Chinese. It's a really nice cab. It was actually a one player cab when I got it. Um, I did some converting and some metal work and 
set it up for two player, which is running really nice. Um, but when I saw the other one, I actually found a Gottlieb Challenger clone. Um, someone was throwing out. Crazy, right? Like, who, who throws that out? Um, they actually had a 1942 uh, Ghetto Cab as well, which I saved the board on. Uh, it's non-jammer. I ended up getting rid of that. Um, some guy picked it up, I think. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to repair it. I couldn't test it, so... Hopefully, it's getting some love. Um, but the, the cab itself in 1942 was absolutely wrecked. Um, I ended up taking it from um, where I found it. I knocked on the door, knocked on the door asked them to, um, if I could stash the, uh, the Challenger clone somewhere because... I had to organize a trailer, and lucky I did because um, the council cleanup guys actually actually came and were um, about to bin it and crush it while um, I was walking back with a screwdriver to get the game board out of 1942. So I was pretty lucky there, um, but I actually said to them, well, I'll come back with the trailer and pick up both of them to save them to clean up. Um, but I actually ended up hitting the 1942 with a sledgehammer and it it fit in um, it fit in my bin so that, that's gone but unfortunate I would have liked to have would have liked to have saved it but what can you do anyway so the, uh, the, the Challenger clone is a, um, a new project which I'm actually probably gonna put this game into um, I've ordered some Dragon Ball Z art, um, and I'll get that set up. Unfortunately, I'm going to go the LCD route, um, try to get a 24-inch LCD. Uh, I'm not experienced with CRTs, and I don't want to electrocute myself, so, I mean, honestly, at the moment, while I don't know what I'm doing, they freak me the hell out. I'm not going to play with it. But uh, I'll get it all done up with um, a Dragon Ball Z marquee and some side art and clean it up and get it running. Um, what else? There was something else. Oh, yes. Uh, There's a guy on Gumtree UK uh, the other day which I've make contact with. He is selling a dedicated uh, Super Dragon Ball Z cabinet in the UK, so if, you, if you're if you in the UK, have a look on Gumtree for it. Um, he's got it up. But I've got the Japanese control, uh, control sheets. Um, unfortunately, I don't know Japanese. So, most of the moves, I have no idea what I'm doing besides, you know, the, the standard down forward punch the Kamehameha waves and all that sort of stuff and like general fighting games from all the combat and all that. Um, but he's actually got the English sheets which I've asked if he could um, take some photos of. Um, he got back to me, said he'll get some photos and gave me an email address and I'll be able to uh, do some Photoshop and get some control sheets made up for the Challenger clue, which would be really nice. Come on. What's wrong with hitting children? Beats by Dad. <laughs> That's terrible. But, um, now, once I run out of my credit, I'll I'll end this video, but it's good finally being able, being able to play this properly. Come on, Gohan. Don't underestimate the midget. I mean, he, he beat Cell, so... Cop that. Oh, really? He blocked it. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is the... Um, the Namco system 256 running Chow Dragon Ball Z.
or Super Dragon Ball Z, uh, was released on the PlayStation 2 um, at one point. Uh, fantastic game. Um, wondering what I should do next. Probably Tekken 4. Um, now I've got my kicks. Um, I'll have to go and pull the the two five six out and put the two four six back in, which is a bit of a pain because I have to screw it down to my board. Um, I can just swap the jumper over. Maybe I'll do Soul Calibur two again. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm looking for Soul Calibur three and Tekken five point one. Um, I will get them eventually, but if anybody's got it for sale, I am very interested. I would absolutely love to play them and do some videos for you guys. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys later. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I might actually do a, a video of this cab. Um, I've got to do some work on it. Um, I've got no locks for my control panel yet, which is in the works. Um, I'm actually going to um, go through and replace this white carbon fiber panel. It's just temporary. I've got some black that I'm going to um, going to go over it with black carbon fiber. I would really, really like to pull this cab apart and repaint it um, blood red. Um, the other video that I've seen on YouTube of this same cab, uh, not this specific cab, but the same model of cab uh, running in China with a, it looks like a bootleg Mortal Kombat. Um, but those cabs were in a blood red with black trim and they looked absolutely fantastic. Um, this is just a white and black cabinet. Um, but no, the, the blood red looks absolutely amazing. I would like to do it, but uh, that requires desoldering everything um, on the inside of it and pulling everything out and getting it done properly. I'm not just going to hit it with a spray can because that's that's not good. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to take off again. I'll see you later again. Toodaloo and take care. Peace.